Mr. Arcadi Gibbs. And thank you, Arcadi. We feel so privileged to be able to bring you a short sampling of Songs at the Center. I'll tell you a little bit about it in a moment. But first of all, Arcadi just did an ori original arrangement of the 19th century Russian folk song, Before the Sunset. Arkady is a refugee from Ukraine who moved to Columbus in 1994 due to a variety of circumstances, including repression from his own government. We're glad to have him here, and we're really glad that he's now an American citizen. Thank you. Arkady is based here in Columbus, but he travels the entire world taking his gypsy music to audiences who appreciate him everywhere. And he spent two years on tour with Madonna. It happened. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we tend to think of disruption as something negative, but that's not always the case. I've had the good fortune for more than 30 years to to travel the country as a keynote speaker and as a songwriter. I've had the privilege of performing at venues uh, as diverse as the San Diego Convention Center, to Nashville's Bluebird Cafe, to the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars in our nation's capital. But three years ago, I was disrupted with an idea that would not let me go, and that was to create and produce a television show that merged original music performed by the artists who wrote it with artist interviews and spontaneous interaction on stage and special features all surrounded with an audience that shares the stage. And it's been an incredible journey for us so far and we're very happy that um, in February we'll be starting our second season on WOSU TV. Thank you. I've always felt that 
the purest form of a song comes from the person who wrote the song. And we know that the singer-songwriter genre is very much like a TED Talk, that it not only takes an engaging performer, but also an audience that's willing to be engaged. And that's why we put the audience on stage with the, audi with, with, with the performers, as if to suggest that what we're doing is capturing the special, unique dynamic between singer-songwriter and audience. We like to think that we're merging the in intimacy of a small cafe or club with the majesty of a larger audience. Well, as someone who knows quite a bit about playing in cafes and before larger audiences, our next guest, R.J. Cowdery. RJ is also based here in Columbus. She tours the, the country as a folk artist and is the Kerrville New Folk Festival winner. And uh, it's always great to have you. And you know, over the many, many years you've been uh, performing as an artist, uh, there's been lots of disruption in your life and I understand something new has happened. <laughs> Every minute is a disruption as well as, well as a destruction. And I kind of confuse those two sometimes, but. Um, I got a call that said I left my guitar at home today on the porch. <laughs> Haven't done that before. I've left a lot of things behind. So I get here and I didn't look in my car and I get a call that says, there's nothing in your guitar case. And they brought it here. As they're coming up the escalator, my partner says, there's nothing in your case. Go to the car and it's in the car. <laughs> I was fairly disruptive. But I have a lot to talk about, but I really want to sing for you all today. And I'm going to ask that you help me. There's a one word in every folk song, I think. It's called hey. <laughs> and we're going to do it really melodically and full of harmony and full of folk it up. You know, we're going to folk this up, okay? <laughs> and you guys are really going to help me out, okay? okay. Yes. Sometimes you forget that you have friends that you haven't seen in a long time and you... You go to the grocery store and you say, hey, man, how have you been? I haven't seen you in such a long time. We should get together and have coffee. Yes, we should do that. Six weeks later, you see him again in the coffee shop and you say, hey, we should have coffee. So it's just a reminder. I wrote this song to myself that, man, work harder at that. You know, we get so dis distracted and disrupted with our daily lives that it's time to take a little step back sometimes. Is there time for giving? Is there time for love? You know there's time for just about anything that you can think of. You know there's time in the morning when the sun is on the rise. There's coffee in my kitchen. Open up my eyes. Did you hear about the one who got away He couldn't take the pressure Didn't want it anyway But there were high hopes Hanging from a short rope Just long enough to strangle Any reason to stay Is there time for giving? Is there time for love? Oh, there's time for just about anything you can think of you know there's time in the morning when the sun is on the rise there's coffee in my kitchen open up my Thank you. 
just about anything that you can think of. You know there's time in the morning when the sun is on the rise. There's coffee in my kitchen. Hey, yay, yay, R.J. Cowdery. You all sound wonderful. All right. My favorite photograph is one of my father when he was age 12 straddling a bicycle he had this big bright smile on his face looking into the future with all the promise of the world not knowing what disruption was coming his way daddy's first set of wheels was a hand-me-down Schwinn Leather seat and a canvas bag to carry newspapers in It was an uphill demon and a downhill flash The fastest bike a boy had ever owned When he finished up his route He'd buy himself a double scoop that he said of wheels took him home. Daddy's next set of wheels was the one he called the bomb. Bucket seats and a red rose for his first day with mom. It was a beat up clunker, but they both fell fast. The only love their hearts had ever known Before the end of spring He surprised her with a ring Then daddy's set of wheels took them home Thirty years of happiness Good health, good home and thankfulness Then out of the blue one day He lost the feeling in his legs. Daddy's last set of wheels were on the side of a chair. Padded seat and two handles so we could push him everywhere. He fought an uphill battle. He went downhill fast. The bravest man I swear I've ever known. I sat there at his side. Squeeze my hand goodbye. Then daddy's set of wheels took him home. Daddy's first set of wheels was a hand me down swing. Arcadi Gibbs, R.J. Cowdery, I'm Eric Ness, and we hope you'll tune in to Songs at the Sand. We'd like to thank our audience, too. Thank you. Thank you.